Uh, Assalamu alaikum everyone. I am in the Bronx uh, in the heart of Bangla town here in Sterling Avenue and Odell Street, right in front of Bangla Bazaar Jami Masjid. Uh, we have a lot of uncles here, uh, brother 50, aka Abdullah, and brother Rafi here. But quickly, with, we only have two minutes to upload uh, this uh, video. Brother uh, Abdullah, please quickly uh, tell me which year you converted, how you converted, and and who were the main people that uh, came into your life? Briefly, please. 2018, I converted. Over. What was your first name? Initial? 50. And what's your name now? Abdullah. And how did you convert? Who who were who are the people that Im impacted uh, to your conversion? Mr. G and uh, the Imam. And who else? The president, you said, right? Yeah, that's Mr. G, the president. Mr. G is the president and the Imam, right? Yeah. Can you quickly uh, say about the barbecue situation during the month of Ramadan? Story? Uh, like I said, I didn't know nothing about Ramadan at that time. I used to do barbecues. I used to just give out food. So one day, Imam, at that time, which I didn't know, he had came to me and asked me, oh, why are you doing barbecue during Ramadan? So, at that time, you were working at the pharmacy? Yeah, Go ahead. and I yeah. still worked there. Yes. Um, I didn't know nothing about Ramadan during that time when he asked me. So it made me feel a different way about they religion so it had me thinking a lot so like i said i didn't like the way i came out and was talking with the imam so it had me sit down so the guy came to in a in, in a in a inappropriate manner to me yeah, yeah frankly he yeah. came to me in an appropriate manner but he didn't know how to come out so you're like you're talk. like you're like who are you to tell me to not to do barbecue yeah. but it was a month of ramadan y yeah yeah <laughs> so like i said around that time i didn't know so once I sat down and realized, oh, that wasn't the right way to talk to him. And it wasn't the right way for him to talk to Come me. Come to you that way, yes, you know? absolutely. So I had to really think about what I, what I said to, to the imam, because I didn't like what I said to the and imam. And then you said that it was bothering you that day, and right? It was bothering me that day. And I think it didn't take me that long to convert. I think it took me that week and that was 2004 18 18 okay i think it took me that week to convert over and i did okay brother abdullah i'm gonna hold you right here you you've been on this block for how, how long 18 years 18 years right and uh, this is odell street right mm -hmm. odell okay and then okay so that part and then and then you said that first week you converted right yes. okay so did you go speak to the imam and the president no no the president knew me before okay. I knew the Imam. Okay. And he always told me, Oh, when you gonna convert, when you gonna convert? And I used to tell him Who the Imam? No. The president. The president. Mr. G. Yeah. And I used to He's Bengali too, right? Yes. Okay. And I used to tell Mr. G one day, one day, like I said, I used to only come here on Friday. I never came here to pray. I used to just come here, put money in a box, and walk away. So he used to tell me, fifty, when you gonna convert? And I used to always tell him one day, it's coming soon, it's coming soon. So that day came sooner than I expected. Mm -hmm. I prayed outside in the yard. You prayed? I didn't know at that time that you couldn't wear shorts. So I oh, had shorts very and I had a short t-shirt. Okay. I didn't have no... That's fine, that's toupee, fine. Is there intention? No pajami, yeah, yeah. nothing. I came regular, right? And uh, they told me, oh, Abdullah, you gotta have long pants. That's good. Something but but, but th they spoke to you in an appropriate manner. Yes. Yes. And I said, oh, okay, uncle. I didn't know. I'll change up. Okay. They telling me. They giving me advice. Like, what to good. do? Yes. What to wear? Mm -hmm. No shorts. No short sleeves. Mm -hmm. Everything gotta be covered. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, like okay. I said, once I converted, mm -hmm. I was here every day. Started meeting certain uncles mm -hmm. in the mosque, me coming in the mosque, going upstairs, going upstairs, yep. meeting certain people. Certain people knew me before I converted. But once I converted, they really loved me. They, they loved really you. Thank you. They welcomed put, you. Yeah, they, okay. they, they, they woke me in with open arms. Yes. Oh, wow. That's so, like I said, uh, I'm really blessed. Okay. I'm really Alhamdulillah. Blessed. I am so. Quickly tell me about your rent situation, please. I had a bad situation with my rent around that time. At 2018? No, I think it was maybe... A year later. Maybe a year later. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. I think so. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe a year later. Okay. And... Quickly, just, yeah. I went to Mr. G. The, no, I went to the Imam first. Okay, you went to the Imam then, first. Yeah, and then the Imam went to Mr. Mr. G. G, the president. 
uh, we have a little situation with Abdullah. Abdullah's having a little money situation with his rent. Let's see what well, we can do. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And like I said, everybody in the house, they let everybody know my situation. They announced it at the a prayer, beginning of, ending of the prayer, yeah. So everybody came together from the whole house, from outside in the yard. You have certain people who only come on Fridays. They even donate. And like I said, they, they, they bless me. I, I, like I was crying like a baby mm. you know I, I couldn't believe it I'm like oh this is how this goes on like you know when you're in a bad situation you got certain people they'll come to you and they'll help you yeah you, you know you so the, how much did, did they raise uh it was twelve hundred dollars okay so one day they raised four hundred dollars yes. yes alhamdulillah so brother Abdullah converted in 2018 he had a uh, 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 the first interaction uh, uh, was when he was doing a barbecue month of Ramadan and he had a little he had a little altercation I wouldn't say altercation a little misunderstanding and then uh, you know they spoke and that was cleared up later on he had a little rent situation 2019 he came to the mosque he came to the imam he came to the president of the of Bangla uh, Bazaar Jamai Masjid and they took they, they helped the brother out to raise 1200 uh, 1200 dollars so he can catch up on his rent when did you convert then I converted 2018. 18. March. I'm um, no. August. August. Uh, I think it was August 18th. And you took a shahada here. Yes. And was by the Imam and the President. I'm assuming. Yes. yes. And okay, because someone said, "How do you feel now? I, do you feel welcome? Do you work for the mosque? What do you do? Do you participate? I do. I do my duty from the mosque. Mosque. Alhamdulillah. You know something that I'm dedicated to do. Make I, sure everything is okay. Make sure it's clean. Make sure the bathrooms is okay. Some of the uncles, oh, Abdullah, we need water. Oh, Abdullah, we need mass. Or oh, Abdullah, can you cut on the AC? Uh, can you cut on the fan? Yes. It, it, stuff like that. Yeah. Like, so, you know, you're, they come to me, you know, mm -hmm. and I like that. Yeah. Thank, I like thank, when of course. Yeah, some yeah. of the uncles, yes, yes. oh, Abdullah, come. Yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> that, that shows me that love, you love yes, me. Yes, yes, yes. So, know? their love for you is unconditional. Yes. Yes, okay. Yes. Okay, and then uh, uh, 30 seconds, you said your your kids and wife is not Muslim, right? No, they, Christian, the, they go to church. And are you working on, are you... Uh, uh, are, I don't want to push them. No, oh, no, no, please, please, absolutely not. Them it has to come from about, the inner... Absolutely. About it, but yes. about, every time I come from the mosque, my wife does ask me how I was praying. Okay. I love that about Of course, of course. Person. She and asked me how I was praying. I told her, Alhamdulillah. And then you, you, yeah. you know, good. Yes. You know. And then you said your father was a big guy in Harlem, right? Yes. He was Muslim? Yes. In Harlem. 125 Lennox? Yes. And which, which mosque was it over there? Uh, around that time, I was pretty young, so I didn't really know. Okay. So young. after your father passed away, you didn't have that father figure, the figure, father figure to lead you in the right, yes. in that direction? Yes. Okay, okay. Until I got here. To the dean. Okay. Once I got here, it all changed for me. And this this Bengali this Bengali community has what would you say has I don't want to put the words in your mouth it, has it changed your life you think yes it, it has okay. it changed my life yeah. very very good okay. very okay. blessed okay thirty seconds I'm gonna cut the video off your message to the youth in this community to, to the youth that are not in the dean uh, quick message and we we're finished you just have to just. Go out and talk to the youth. Explain to them what's going on. Explain to them what's going on in the youth. Explain to them about Islam. It's peaceful. You can learn a lot of different things here. A lot of different language here. I'm learning. I'm still learning. You know, certain languages. You know. And like I said, uh, I'm very blessed. And I feel like... I did the best thing for my life going forward as in converting over to Islam. And uh, I, I just, I, I feel blessed, man, you know? I could have been any, any, in, in, anywhere in this world, but I, I, I choose to convert over. And uh, I did the right thing. Something was calling me. And that day, it called me and it told me, Go to the mosque. Go to the mosque. So, like I said, I went to the mosque, and ever since that day, I came to the mosque. I feel blessed. My uncles and them love me here. Mm -hmm. They know who, they 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 know who I am. Everybody know me in this community, 
anywhere I go, any store I go to, they know me, you know, and I, I feel blessed. I feel happy. I can go to the store. Maybe sometimes they welcome you. They welcome you. Uh, maybe sometimes I might don't have money to buy a drink. Oh Abdullah, do you need anything? They Take always it. ask me. Oh Abdullah, you want tea? You, you need anything? You also work at the pharmacy, correct? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. All right, uh, all right, brother Abdullah. Yes. It has been a pleasure meeting you today. Yes. Like I said uh, previously on my live, I stopped you, and I stopped you twice. Yes. And look out. Yeah. And, and I stopped and I turned around and I answered your twice <laughs> yeah. too. Yes, yes. I really yes, brother. I appreciate that. Definitely, yes. bro. Mm -hmm. I would extend my invitation to you if you ever uh, you're in, in, in Brooklyn, Queens. Please come. come take one, take I'll, 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 I'll yeah. take your number definitely. Please send a message out to the youth. You know, you too. That I definitely will. I'll try to. Everywhere I go, I, I, like I said, I came here for work purpose. And I always come to, come to I, this. I go to, this my, brother I, I goes to my old neighborhood. Oh, I forgot to ask, which, which is your old neighborhood? Webster? Webster. Okay. Washington Avenue, 169, 170. That's a pretty rough, rough area. Okay. Uh, when I go there, some of them, everybody don't know I converted. But you know, the word gets out. Of course. Oh, you know, 50, he converted. Oh, he's Muslim now. So I even go to my old neighborhood just like that. Yeah. I'm not ashamed. No, no, you shouldn't be. When I'm dressed like okay, that, anywhere be. I go. Okay. I, I go anywhere dressed like that. And I go to my old neighborhood, and the, my old neighborhood, the people over there, they love me so much. Oh, yo, what's your name? Abdullah. Oh, what made you convert? Oh, something was calling me. Yeah. You know? Definitely, Brother Abdullah. It was a nice pleasure meeting you. Mm -hmm. I hope you nothing but the best. I'll take your number, and inshallah, we can do, maybe maybe we could do a, a, a project in New York City. We can go to different communities together. We can, we can go to Queens, we can go to Brooklyn, we can go to Bronx and knock, knock on the youth brothers and send our message out there. Yes. I'll definitely connect with you and inshallah hopefully we can reach other youth here in New York City and maybe who knows around the world to make dramatic changes in their lives when they uh, convert into Islam or convert into the Deen. Uh, uh, as you heard Brother Abdullah's story, it is very intri intri intriguing, very interesting story and I hope many uh, of other brothers come forward. Inshallah. It was great meeting you again. I'll see you around. I wish you nothing but the best, okay. brother. All right, everyone. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.